Hi, my name is PK Gulati. I'm the founder of The Assembly. If you're here, you're probably watching an assembly workshop. We do these workshops every week and these are prepared by the assembly team in Dubai. These workshops cover ideas from data sciences, hardware design, automation, robotics, drones, and all the other exponential technologies that can, you can think about. The idea is for us to learn more than what curriculum teaches us. And we are trying to bring people to start working with their own hands with these technologies which have the capacity of changing the world. So welcome to this workshop and learn more about new wonders what you can build. Hello and welcome to this workshop. My name is Adam and today we will dive into automating Spotify by creating playlists based off of YouTube song playlist. We'll be using Google Cloud, YouTube API and Spotify API to generate the request and a Python script to automate the process. Uh, before we dive into this workshop, let me tell you about the assembly. The assembly is a smart lab based out of N5 since December of 2014. We have conducted over 300 workshops since then. These are divided into three categories. Hack, which contains embedded systems, IoT, and hardware. There is code, which relates to APIs, frameworks, and, and applications. And finally, we have data science, which relates to advanced topics such as machine learning and AI. Our targeted audience for these workshops are students, professionals, and entrepreneurs, but most importantly, anyone who's eager to learn about technology. We focus on smart technology and practical applications. You can keep in touch with us on our form on members.theassembly.ae. We're also active on social media, and you can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Now, let me give you an overview of today's workshop. We'll be going over different API and libraries used. We'll be getting the API key and the create search and add tokens. We'll be coding the YouTube part, and we'll be, we'll be coding the, YouTube, the Spotify part. And then finally, we'll test it out together. Uh, so should, why should we automate Spotify? The Spotify web API endpoint returns JSON metadata about music artists, albums, and tracks directly from the data catalog, which makes manipulating, adding, and searching for tracks really easy. And also, instead of adding a song manually that you like, you can also just automatically add it through the API, which can be really handy with big players. There's also online documentation that is available online with many examples, which makes it easy to get started. Uh, what we need for today's workshop is a Spotify API account, a Google account, and a Python IDEA. We will then start uh, getting the API keys and the tokens. We will then write the code to extract the playlist track information. We will then move on to create, uh, the, um, to create and populate the Spotify playlist. And finally, we will test it out and check our Spotify account. Let's get started. <music> So, before we get started with the code, let's head to the Google Cloud platform. We will create a new project. But since I already have one, I will just cancel. And from here on out, we go to the credential screen, create credential API key. Then we'll copy that API key and we'll paste it here in our code. Then we'll head on over to the, Sp the Spotify API. We will get our token for all three actions. This one is, is this one is the search. We will request it, and then we will copy it to our code under search token. And similarly, with our add items token, we'll get it. We request it, and then we will copy it to our add token, and then finally. For our create playlist, same procedure, we request it, copy it, and then paste it in our create token. Now that we have all three items, we are ready to start coding. Okay, now that we're done with all our tokens, let's copy the playlist ID that we want to duplicate. The playlist ID is this part of the URL. I will be using this playlist as an example. So I already put it here. Uh, so now we can start with our YouTube script. We will use the YouTube underscore DL library to extract the video information and then save it in our all song information dictionary. At the start, we will build our YouTube client. Build. And 
Then we create a function to get our Spotify URI based off of the song name and the artist. This finds the track URI on Spotify, which we can then use later on to add the songs to our created playlist. Query will be not for that song name artist response query others equal. Authorization. Search the Now, response JSON. Songs. They will we'll only use the first song, so try and catch. So what this does in case this the the track found isn't available on Spotify. It would uh, return and save the URI as null in case of getting an index error. We will now we will now create our initiate function that cycles through the playlist. Uh, some samples of these codes exist in several programming languages on the YouTube uh, API right over here. You can choose whatever language you would like, and you can get some samples, or you can even try it out for yourself. Uh, this function will extract every song name, artist, YouTube URL, and Spotify URI using uh, this function uh, and save them all in our dictionary. So define. Details. Go next page token next page token to cycle through the search pages. Now, uh, let's run our JSON. All right, uh, good ideas. Then to iterate over every video in the playlist and get the ID for item items.
continue to us. Thank you. YouTube dot video dot list. Snippet. All right. Now let's execute that. Then let's save those extracted informations. For that, I think. Maybe. Now we'll use the library to don't collect the song name and artist name. So video will be YouTube. Don't YouTube. Dot extract info YouTube URL and download equals false. Make sure it's set it to false to avoid downloading the video. Try. Now uh, let's extract the track name. Artist and the Spotify your eye and save it. Alright, so uh song name movie video track. Let's print it. The artist movie video artist. Let's print it. And Spotify Square your eye will be get it's for your eye song name artist. Then let's save that information. So if Spotify your eye is not null, all song info. Video thinking. YouTube URL and let's save the URL. Then let's save the song name and then let's save the Spotify URL. Let's get the accept. Because sometimes the, the tracks are unavailable uh, from the library itself. Then, it's token. Great. As in, if there are no more results, just break out, the, break out of the loop. Uh, we will then uh, 
We will then print how many songs were added to our dictionary to compare our, our outputs at the end. Uh, so let's do that. Print. Sort info. I might as well just print the whole dictionary just to see what it looks like. Uh, finally, return all songs. And let's move on to our Spotify script. So now let's code in our Spotify script. So I will, we will create three functions, create playlist, get playlist ID, and add song to playlist. So let's uh, type in our create playlist code. Response, request, request. Public then our user. We response dot JSON. Then we will return our JSON. Then our let's move on to our playlist ID function, which we can then use to populate our add song playlist. Return ID. Now let's add each song to our playlist based on the URIs obtained and stored in the dictionary. So, URIs, info, Spotify URI, for song, info, and all Spotify and product items. Request body is equal to JSON. Yours, three ones, request data and call JSON. Don't see yours. Our query is equal to. Then response dot post query data equal request data others equal Content type application association authorization error dot format I took. There's also a list available on the Spotify website that references each status code and what it means. So uh, 201 means a successful request and creation was made. So let's print that status code, then response underscore JSON and response JSON. And let's return our response. All right, before writing or testing our main, uh, let's, let's fix a couple of issues. There was an underscore here that was missing. And in our YouTube script, the, the K is uppercase, not lowercase. All right, now let's go to our main and 
test it out. So all sound cancel. Exit cancel. Let's go initiate. This will save our information dictionary. And let's create our playlist. Create playlist. Name. Let's call it pop photo. And let's make it uh, private for now. Let's save our playlist ID. Then let's add our song info dictionary in our playlist with our playlist. ID. Now let's run it. As you can see, the, the videos are getting extracted over here. Uh, let's go to Spotify. It's still, it's not there. Uh, let's wait. All right, so it says uh, some songs details were, were unavailable. Uh, 15 total songs were added to our dictionary, which as you can see right here. Uh, we also got a 201 stats code, so we know that uh, that worked. If you go back to Spotify, you can see our playlist pop auto. And it, in fact, it has all 15 uh, tracks inside. We can try this out with another, with another playlist. We have a 1950s playlist. So let's go ahead and take the playlist ID, change it over here. And let's call this it is also. And let's run our code. It's uh, still going. Uh, as you can see, it was able to retrieve 28 songs and it added them over here. So that's it for today's workshop. If you enjoyed, consider hitting the like and subscribe button. And to stay up to date with more of our content, you can follow us on our social media. Thanks for watching.